The teeth were cleaned with pumice and water and then rinsed and air dried carefully. The bonding surfaces of the teeth were etched with orthophosphoric acid for 45 seconds. Interproximal areas should be etched too, and the etching time should be long enough for proper bonding. Tooth surfaces were rinsed and dried. The bonding agent was applied over the whole area of the etched enamel and light cured as the bonding manufacturer recommends. First, the teeth were bonded together only with composite from the labial side in order to keep them in place during splinting. The composite was light cured. The needed length for the fibre was measured and cut. A continuous thin flow layer, 0.5 mm, was applied on the lingual tooth surfaces. Do not light cure the composite at this point. The fibre was adapted with a silicon instrument and initially light cured for 5 to 10 seconds on each tooth. The fibre should be positioned as incisively as possible. The splint was covered with a continuous layer of flowable composite. The splint was light cured for 40 seconds, one tooth at a time. The finishing phase was started carefully. The fibre splint was shortened by drilling. Then the exposed fibre surface was reactivated with resin for three minutes. The excess resin was removed by using air and then light cured. Then the exposed fibre was covered with flowable composite and light cured. The splint was polished. and the occlusion was checked and adjusted. Both the patient and the dentist were very satisfied with the end result and its aesthetics. Now the highly mobile teeth are stabilized and the periodontal treatment can be continued.